Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Pathway. Um, I had a plethora of recording issues over the last couple days, so a lot of my gameplay had to be deleted, unfortunately. Um, that being said, I did, I did start a new adventure going through the second one, um... I didn't get all the way through it, but I did play a little bit off camera, so I do have some more characters and a lot better gear. Um, but we're gonna start we're gonna start over from the beginning for Adventure Two and just hopefully get through it without any issues this time. So with that being said, let's let's get to it. It's the Wrath of God, Jerusalem, Palestine. Morton was quite right; the Nazis are up to something sinister. That's why you are hot on the heels of a German expedition to Mount Ararat. They are searching for a mysterious object known as the Wrath of God. Foil their plans. Um, so, the one new character we got was Leonora. Um, Leonora De Quincey, British amateur archaeologist, flexible supporter, capable with assault rifle, starts with shredding shot special ability, and she also seems to have the, uh, excuse me, she also seems to have the repair skill, which is nice. We went through with uh, uh, Mortimer Bellamy. He's got some pretty good gear, legendary coat that allows them to have the engineer event as well as an epic disintegrator weapon we've been using him for repairs but we got him up to level five so we might take some other characters this time uh let's see so we'll probably take leonora just because she's a new character And we'll take Miguel. I don't think we've had him in a while. And we will take Natalia. She also has a legendary weapon. She has better painkillers now so she can heal for more. She's got slightly better armor. We're going to take her just because this game is extremely difficult if you don't have anyone that can heal. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to just give these people better gear. Move that to the valuables. We don't need it. This is medium armor. That's light armor. Medium armor. Medium armor. So none of them can use that armor. We are also going to buy 10 more storage, just because this fills up extremely quickly. And we'll go ahead and equip that. We'll send that to the valuables, because we don't need it. This is also an assault rifle, so we will give her this one. Send that to valuables, we don't need it. Alright, so we're good to go ahead and depart. Alright, we gun our engine. You have no intention of losing the race for the wrath of God. Alright, so... Oh, 
unlike in the first campaign, I'm going to try to do more of these separate events. You suddenly see something flash in the endless sea of dunes. You soon come to a track that crosses your path. You see the tire tracks of several vehicles, probably a German military convoy. Your suspicions are confirmed when you find a long line of jerry cans scattered along the edge of the track. German army supplies. They probably fell off of a truck during the uh, during a night convoy. The jerry cans are full of gasoline. Um, let's search for more gas. Why not? We lose the tracks. And I actually um, remembered what this game reminds me of. It reminds me of... Um... Wow, I forgot the name of it. It's that one uh, roguelike game with the cards and the tower. I totally cannot remember the name, unfortunately. It'll come to me. You come upon an abandoned German military camp. Curiously, you search the camp. Maybe the Germans left something valuable behind. You're in luck. You find a stack of Wehrmacht crates, and we'll open them. Enthusiastically, you tear off the lid of the first crate when you hear a soft, metallic click. You triggered a German booby trap. Immediately, you throw yourselves to the ground and put your arms out to shield your faces. An instant later, the device explodes. That sucks. The explosion sweeps over you, but you escape unharmed as the main force of the blast is directed upwards. Older and wiser, but without any loot, you return to your car. That could have been worse. That could have been much worse. Alright. So we got some combo, uh, combat up here. I'm going to go ahead and attack. In my off-camera gameplay, attacking everything that you come across is just the way to go. Uh, the combat gets a lot easier as you level up and have better gear, and you also never really seem to worry about losing supplies. So, we'll do all the combat. Typically, I was able to start getting through them in about five minutes or so. So they're all going to be kind of down on this. Oh, we got some over here, actually. Alright, let's see. How much damage does this do? 38 to 51. We'll go ahead and kill the dog. And we'll put a cone here, just in case that guy walks out so he's out of cover. And I don't want to go next to that explosive barrel. So we'll take Leon uh, Leonora over here, see if we can't kill this guy. Nice. And we'll probably... We'll probably just leave Natalia over here. These dogs can run so far, and they do so much damage, too. So we'll do that, and uh, we'll low-profile Leonora. And we'll move Miguel up a little bit, see if he can get a shot on this one over here. 
He cannot. He can throw a grenade. I forgot that uh, Miguel does have grenades. 23 to 38. I won't use that one right here. And we'll throw that bait right here. Get the attention of that dog. Oh, look at that. New character. Let's see if we can move her over here. Unfortunately missed. We'll move Miguel back a little bit, just see if he can get shots off on anyone like that. That works. I want to try and... Get a better shot off on this dog, which I don't think we're going to get. So we're going to have to take the 40%. Thankfully, that, that did kill the dog. So let's go ahead and end the turn here. The enemies don't seem to be smart enough to shoot the barrels. Regardless, I'm always still kind of a little nervous about being next to him, but I have yet to see an enemy take a shot at one. Look at that. What a marksman. Should be the last guy down here. 61 damage. Jesus. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Took a little bit of damage, but that's all right. I'm probably just gonna send these to the valuables. We do have a level up for Miguel, so let's see what we can do. Um, I think I want to do crit chance for him. I don't seem to get a whole lot of critical hits, so I don't want to invest too much in crit strength. So we'll, we'll do a crit chance. That one might be a little bit better in the long run, but we'll find out. And we're going to have a trader here. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. I know it won't leave me with a whole lot of money, but the common snipers in this game are garbage. Alright, so it looks like we got more combat up here. Only when German soldiers appear all around you with weapons drawn do you realize that you have been ambushed. It's never fun.
it's also not fun because there's a lot of dogs. So we'll put Leonara here, Miguel there, and we'll put um, put Natalia here. We're gonna try to take this guy out and use cover on this side. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some bait over there. So that's Natalia's turn. We at least got one. We'll move him up here. I don't know if the bait needs to be thrown in the vicinity of dogs, or if they run near it, they'll also get distracted. I guess we'll find out when this dog comes running down here, but... Either way, I'm not too worried about just the one dog. Alright. So we are all in a cone. So somebody's going to have to take a shot here to... here. We're going to move him here. We are going to kill one of these dogs. Doesn't matter which one, so we'll go for that one. And we'll shoot that one. I'll leave her here because she does have the uh, guaranteed evade if she gets shot at. Move him over here. So, uh, Natalia is level 5, so she does have a bigger area for healing, which is quite nice. Alright, so it looks like we have one more, just the officer. how much that'll do. 30. So he's got 20 health left. I'll throw warning shots over here. And we'll repair the armor while we're at it. Just leave Natalia there. And now it's probably just about time to go rush him.
Oh. That is extremely unfortunate. Hopefully Natalia can not hit him. All right. Well. That's annoying. But we'll just have... What does he got? 11 health. Honestly, we're just going to have him punch him. And Leonardo will go over here and punch him as well. And this should kill him. Alright. Not my smoothest encounter ever. But it could have been worse, I think. We'll take all, and we're going to put this to the valuables. That's a level 1 healing, so it's nothing important. Leonardo's level 2. This sounds really nice, giving them plus 5 agility this turn. That sounds really good, actually. So we'll go there. We've only got three supplies left, so... We're going to have to hopefully find some more. Men nod when you acquire about the German expedition. Foreign soldiers stayed overnight in our village. Some of the men were unhappy. They were complaining among themselves. Something about their journey scared them. At the signal to depart, one of them began to rant openly at their leaders. Points to the palm grove behind you. You turn to see a mound of freshly dug sand. That is all that remains of him. The other soldiers had no further objections. So we're going to wade through the water, because why not? We're going to rush to the temple entrance, because again, why not? She lost 12 health, unfortunately. Temple in front of you consists of a single altar room, which you search excitedly. The Germans must have been here before you, but your prudence pays off. See if we got anything nice. We did get some supplies and some valuables. How much health does she have? Okay, she's still got 48. That's no problem. Come across a German excavation site. At first glance, it appears long abandoned, but then you notice some empty cans on the ground. A quick investigation reveals that the provisions were open recently. The Germans are probably somewhere inside the temple complex. What do you want to do? We're going to look for him. You cautiously examine the entrance that has recently been excavated from the desert sands. Then you advance quietly through the passage into the interior of the complex. You hear the sound of picks and shovels up ahead, so you creep forward carefully, hiding behind the walls and pillars. You reach a spacious hall and pause to assess the scene in front of you. A large unit of German soldiers have set up an improvised excavation site here. They appear to be looking for something. They are so engrossed in their work that they do not notice you. You stop for a moment to decide what to do. We will ambush them. Lots of dogs. Unfortunate. This is Miguel, and we'll put... Talia here. Go ahead and kill this guy. Move forward. And just in case we don't get all of these dogs with this turn, we'll throw this out over here.
because we're going to put her in cover. No way for us to shoot both of them. So we'll at least get one of them. And we'll end the turn there. Okay, thankfully that dog did not reach me. That dog did. Alright, let's see. 50% chance to hit this dog. Hundred percent for this one. So we'll go for that. We will go kill this dog. Just get all these guys out of the way. I think we can probably put Leonara here and get this one killed. I'm honestly more worried about the dogs than I am actual enemies because the dogs just seem to do so much damage. And she did get a new skill where she can do first aid. This doesn't require supplies, but it does require bravery. And it, re and it restores a lot less health. But it is nice when, you know, for example, she didn't have too much health loss. So. miss unfortunate I kind of do want to I mean it might not even be worth it what's the 40% I think these are the last two guys See if we can move him over here and get a better shot. Yes. So that'll kill that one. And we'll move Leonora here. That's still a pretty bad shot. Um, we'll just low profile it. And we'll just move Natalia out of there. Okay, that worked really well. So he's stuck there. And Miguel will kill him. here take all we'll send that to valuables send that to the valuables as well after making sure that the noise of your battle has not alerted any other enemies you explore the site the echo of your boots on the hall's dusty flagstones is amplified a thousand fold by the stone walls the oppressive atmosphere weighs on you you can feel the centuries of deathly silence on your shoulders <laughs> incredible you soon forget your discomfort when the glow of your lanterns falls on ornate clay pots full of burial objects placed at the foot of the pillars. Ooh, an offhand item. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. We'll take that. That'll give plus three damage to a sniper rifle. That's awesome. Cool. Let's see, so, uh, we are going to use 
that on Natalia. And we'll go this way. The MHS line between the dunes looks brand new. This is a trap, isn't it? It's not. There's just random ammo out in the desert. Something isn't right at the farmstead you just uh, came across. When you go to investigate the buildings, German soldiers appear at the windows with their weapons drawn. The trap is sprung. All right. We've got five enemies. Nothing too bad. None of them have any armor. I think this one should be relatively easy. It's a 48% chance there. 100% for that one. I'm going to try to focus most of the kills for this run on Miguel and Leonara, just to try to get them leveled up a little bit faster, because Natalia is 5, so I'm not, you know, she's pretty much set. I think their max level is like 6 or 7. So we'll take the kill here. Um, might as well take the shot here just we didn't get it unfortunately uh, we will do first aid on Natalia though get her back up to full health here what can we do Hmm. Might as well kill that guy, thankfully. Uh, we'll low profile just so she doesn't take any damage if this guy shoots at her. And we might as well move him up a little bit in a better spot. We'll low profile him as well. I'm not too worried about Natalia right now, so we'll just end the turn there. Okay. So Natalia is in the cone, so if she takes any turn that's an action, so moving, shooting, anything like that, she's going to get shot at. Leonar is doing a pretty good job. I think these might be the last two guys. So we'll move her up here. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but let's see if we can kill him. 
We can. And we'll move Natalia up here just to heal Miguel. Not bad. And we'll move him out here. Get the kill there. Took a little bit of damage, but I don't think it was anything too bad. Hopefully we got some supplies. With the lower levels, you're typically going to be going through health kits pretty quick, I found. You did not. Ugh. Well, we'll send that to valuables as well. So we'll get up to here at least. As you approach a strange oasis with its mysterious crystals, your fears are confirmed. You are not alone. You sneak closer and soon spy a group of German soldiers camped ahead of you. They are completely unaware of your presence. We will attack. Let's try to get as many levels as we can for these guys. There's only four. This should be a pretty easy pretty easy fight I want to say probably going to get two kills right away here oh that didn't kill him probably move Natalia right here kill him And we'll heal his armor, just so we don't have to worry about it. We'll sprint Natalia over here. We'll take a shot at this guy, because it's a guaranteed kill. We will use the morale boost on Miguel. Oh, he still can't get all the way over there. We'll put him right here and just low profile him. And we'll take Leonara over here, see if she can kill him. All right. That was her two actions. So we put the cone. I don't think it's going to matter. We'll move Natalia over here and we'll just We'll just take the easy kills. We won't try to farm kills for certain people. If it's if it's that easy, we'll just do it that way. And let's see. We did get some supplies. Awesome. We also got a new knife. Does 25 to 31 damage. Not too bad. And we'll get back up to this location. Not far ahead, you see several stacks of jerry cans in the shade of some palm trees. Next to them is a Wehrmacht jeep containing a napping soldier. As you approach, he jumps up and ducks down behind the jerry cans. I'm holding a grenade. Not a step closer, I blow the whole place up. We'll intimidate him. Listen, you. Our sniper has you in his sights. All I have to do is count to three and that will be the end of you. One... Two. Soldier waves a white handkerchief and calls out in a qu uh, quavering voice, 
I will pack as many canisters as fit in the car and you promise me safe passage. You can have the rest. A few minutes later, the Wehrmacht Jeep races away from the fuel dump at full speed. You wait until the man is out of sight and then examine the supplies. So we got a little bit of gas there. Cool. So not too bad so far. I think everybody's doing all right for health and we're doing pretty good on gear. I'm going to have to go through and empty these slots out on my on my character so I don't have to keep carrying them around. But we'll end the video right there and we will pick up where we left off. Thank you guys for watching.